Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers into archives, museums, and historic sites from around the country. La Plaza, a Mexican-American cultural center in Los Angeles, opened to the public in April of 2011. American History TV visited the center to learn about the history of Mexicans in Southern California. My name is Miguel Angel Corso, and I'm the president and CEO of La Plaza de Cultura y Artes here in Los Angeles. La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, or La Plaza as we like to call it, is uh, really a cultural center that is uh, meant to tell the story of the influence and uh, evolving nature of influence uh, of Mexicans and Mexican Americans throughout the history of Los Angeles to celebrate that uh, culture and uh, to educate people about that influence. Los Angeles is a city that has been always looking forward and is always looking to the future. And sometimes we forget the origins of the city and how it all came about. There were Native Americans, of course, here, and they had been seen uh, from afar by the uh, boats and the ships that the Spanish uh, were sailing up and down the coast back in 1546. But in 1781, the Spanish government decided that they needed to settle a few of the various areas around the coast and uh, went to Mexico to look for uh, some volunteers to trek a thousand miles from the states of Sonora and Sinaloa and come here to Los Angeles. They came to uh, the San Gabriel Mission. Originally, they were quarantined for a few days to make sure they didn't have smallpox. And then uh, finally, on September 4, 1781, they came from San Gabriel Mission to uh, the Los Angeles River. And that's the reason why the city of Los Angeles is called Los Angeles, because a Spanish explorer a few years back had named the river uh, the river as uh, Nuestra Señora La Reina de Los Ángeles de Porciúncula. And uh, Los Angeles stuck, and now it's L.A. This place was like Siberia back then, if you were in New Spain. Imagine if you were uh, a hard scrabble farmer in what we now call Sonora or Sinaloa. A government functionary comes up to you and tries to recruit you and says, you know, we're going to walk hundreds and hundreds of miles through the desert, uh, through hostile territory. You're going to be out in the middle of nowhere. There's a few missions. Uh, there's a few soldiers around to help defend you. Your job will be to develop a settlement and through your good example demonstrates to the indigenous peoples that outnumber you dramatically what life is like as a Spanish subject. Spain, New Spain had been settled for over two centuries at that point and so the mixing of peoples of ethnicities and cultures was already happening there. It wasn't happening here until these folks arrived and then it really sets in motion a new society being built here. There has always been a Mexican presence here uh, the Mexican presence started in 1781. Uh, everyone believes that the, the people who first arrived here were Spaniards uh, because it was the Spanish Empire. In fact, of the 44 original settlers, only two were Spaniards and the rest were either native Mexicans or they were a mixed breed, a mixture of Spanish with native Mexican or a mixture of Spanish with African. So. From the very beginning, Los Angeles has been a diversity made up of uh, various ethnicities. What you will see here, first of all, on the ground floor, is uh, an exhibition of the history of Los Angeles from 1781 through present times. Uh, it is seen uh, basically through the eyes of the Mexican and Mexican-American influence and experience, uh, because that's one way of telling the story. Uh, and it has been a very important story. And then we also have another exhibition called Calle Principal. This is an evocation of Main Street Los Angeles back in the 1920s with uh, different types of uh, commerces that existed 100 years ago. And this is one way of uh, seeing how much Los Angeles and downtown Los Angeles has evolved. We also have a component of public programming uh, that has uh, music and dance, films, lectures, uh, and other types of uh, uh, educational activities for children and adults and families. You can watch American Artifacts and other American History TV programs anytime by visiting our website, cspan.org history.